I think my entirety of my spring break, I just stayed in my room and I rotted. Sometimes I just want to escape to the wild, but then I'm like, I'm not gonna survive. I literally need a popsicle. I'm so upset! Hi everyone, it's currently 12.30. I have an interview at 1 and um, I need to prepare. Oh my god. This morning was so hectic. Like, I was just like... I don't know, I woke up at 10.30 and then I just... Spaced out. <gasps> I don't know, I don't, I don't have an agenda for today. Think about taking myself on a self date. Is it done? I don't want to keep this on for too long because when I keep it on for too long, it's too cold. See, it's too cold. And now it looks a little weird. It looks a little weird. Anyway, okay, I'll see you guys in a bit, okay? Just finished my interview. My interviewer was really nice and she said that she'll let me you know on the updates of how it went. Either at the end of today or the end of tomorrow. I think she said the end of tomorrow, I can't remember. Chatting in a coffee shop, sitting by the windowsill, walking down 8th Avenue with you. Our fingers touching the light, you pull back. Oh my god, it's cold. I should have bought a scarf with me. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be warm. Oh, it's a little loud. I'm sorry. I apologize for the sound. The wind and the car. Oh my god. It's so nice. Okay, so I wanted to go to this thrift shop a little farther out and usually like those Goodwills that are farther from the city have good stuff. But the weather is so nice. Look, time to cross. So many cars. I've been looking for like long maxi dresses that are like kind of plain but also like can go with a lot of different outfits. Oh my god, the freaking wind, I can't even speak. Okay, all in all, I didn't know that Jamaica Plain had that many thrift stores. I'm so shocked. I do need to meet up with a friend at five for dinner. So I'm gonna head to Back Bay now. I didn't explore entirely of Jamaica Plain, but I went to four vintage slash thrift stores and honestly it was so nice. Our fingers touching the light. You pull back blushing delight. Call me when you get back home. Meet me on the hand, meet me on the call. 
My version of sunbathing. Sunbathing in the winter. It's fine. We can't really fall anywhere because it's so packed. <laughs> okay, we just got off that train, and that train was so bad. We could barely squeeze in. I think we were the last two people that yeah, actually squeezed yeah. in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Flashing sign you take my hand and you pull me inside When did everyone else disappear? I really like the tea. It says jasmine tea. Oh, this one's bestseller. Ooh, I kinda wanna try this. This one's I thought these were chocolate chips. Bruh. <laughs> I want these. Look at this, this smells so good. Okay, I just came back from my eye doctor's appointment. My prescription didn't change on my interview that I had yesterday. It got rejected. I was like, great. Um, nothing. I'm just gonna stay home. Um, I just want to say that those chips were not that great. Bruh. They were very salty. I remember I've gotten those before and they were not salty. And these are so salty. Like, I'm chugging water. <laughs> This has been the longest period of time ever since December that I just never went out of the house. I didn't go out of the house for six days, I would say. I think it's also hard to make out of whether it's like day or night in my room. Literally, I am in no place to even complain that I'm sad because literally I couldn't even see the light coming in. Like it'll be daylight, but it'll look like night because the curtains were thick. Yeah, so this is your sign to like let some sun in. And you might be like, why do you want the curtains dark? Because it makes me feel safe. I like when my room's dim. Bruh. Because of those curtains and I like it that way. I like being a vampire. I think my entirety of my spring break, I just stayed in my room. And I love it. That was not how I expected my spring break to go. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. I feel bad because I'm like, I was actually going out and wasting time. Like, I need to go out and walk around, you know? I need to go interact with, like, my surroundings. I've just been in my room, laying on my bed, being extremely pessimistic, so... It gets so dark to the point that you're just like, things might just never get better from here. When it comes off, that's not true. I and people change, and I always change things. When you're just comfortable in your own sadness, being alone in your room with your thoughts is really scary. Your mind can get really dark, and I feel like because I know that, I really treasure the good moments. Literally, I'm not okay. I woke up at 11. I was so hungry. I was so lazy. I was like, I don't want to eat. I'm just gonna be like that. I don't want to get up and make food. Like, that's how lazy I was. Yeah, I don't I don't think I showered for a couple days. But you know what's really funny? I've been drinking a lot of water. That's funny. So I was like literally getting really tired of journaling. You know what I did? I started speaking into the void. Bruh. I was just like, Yeah, I'm not feeling so good. But 
You shouldn't be so hard on yourself though. Which honestly, this might sound silly to you guys, but I really think it helps. Sometimes I just want to move out of the country. Sometimes I just want to escape to the wild. But then I'm like, I'm not going to survive. I literally need a popsicle. How am I going to get a popsicle in the wild? I'm going to get eaten by a bear. Do bear eat humans? Or do it only eat berries? I don't know. Yummy. I'm 22 and I have nothing figured out in my life. I'm so upset! I feel like nothing is going the way I want, but I'm like, no, I cannot say that. I need to be grateful. You know who's your biggest enemy? Your mind. That's all I'm gonna say. Currently, I am at the point where um, I feel pretty hopeless. I feel like a disappointment. I don't feel extremely pretty, let's just be honest. I feel like everyone's succeeding except me. We're moving forward and I don't know where to go. I have a paper to write too. It's literally due tomorrow at 4 p.m. and it has I have not even started it. I just had a mental breakdown in my bed. I'm just the other day. I bought some chips. I'm gonna distract myself. And I currently have this call on right now. And I also just recently purchased a lot of different Trader Joe snacks. This is a dress I thrifted. Um, so what we'll be sewing is this part. You see that? I'm gonna sew it like this. Kind of just like the rest. do that. For those of you guys who know how to do this and probably cringing at me right now, I apologize, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yay! See, these are the original buttons. This is the button I sew. You can see the thing out. But, um, this is the inside of it. Pretty, it's it's patchy work. Oh my god, what's this? Oh wait, this I didn't do. I don't know what's from this. I showered. I moisturized, um, and I feel a little bit better. I also have coffee. I got the the Trader Joe's cold brew one. Okay, I got ready. I'm gonna go to class. I finished class, guys. <laughs> It was so windy out. Oh my god, I finally got to the cafe. I'm not at a seat where there's an outlet and I need to charge. But I did find a seat and hopefully one of like the outlet seats will empty up and I can sit there. Feeling a lot better. The sun made me happy. When you haven't been eating out, I've been cooking at home. But I'm hungry and I'm just gonna get a drink. I think going through that time period was uh, just feeling hopeless is a really scary feeling. It's not fun. It's not fun going through something like that. And sometimes it's just you don't know when it's going to get better. Girl is like, you're like, it's going to get better. When though? Because when there's no timeline, everything's really scary. Because yeah, I know it's going to get better, but when? I can't live by a prediction, you know? I can't live by just some words. Like, it's going to get better. Going through that was not fun. But, uh, it but it's it's part of life you know and um i do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and um let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys all next week bye